All is well. Good morning. Welcome you all in English class. Today we are going to learn a very new poem of your honey's comb book, Garden Snake. As people hear and know the word snakes, they all are horrified. Similarly, there is a young boy in the poem who is very much afraid of snakes because we all think that snakes are poisonous and dangerous to us. That's why we are afraid. But the young boy's fears have gone away when he listened his mom. So let's know what his mother has told him about the snakes. Before reading the poem, let's know about the poet. Poet is Muriel Anderson. She was born on thirty first October nineteen thirty, and she died on twenty third. February nineteen ninety at seventy six years old. There are different kinds of snakes in the world. You all can see there are three thousand species are found in the world, and out of this, two sixty eight around are there in the in India, and out of two sixty eight, we have sixty one species which are venomous so let's read the poem garden snakes before reading just read it have you ever seen a snake fighting a mongoose or getting into a hole or swimming in the river or maybe you while your journey or riding through the car or the train or the bike you may have seen snakes passing throughout the street everyone almost everyone believes that snakes are dangerous some are and most of them are not so read this poem on a harmless garden snakes read it once i saw snakes and ran away some snakes are dangerous they say but mother says that kind is good and eats some insects for his food So when he wiggles in the grass, I'll stand aside and watch him pass, and tell myself there is no mistake; it is just a harmless garden snake. Just read the vocabulary and its usage. These vocabularies are related to your poem. Fear of snakes. Fear of snakes is called ophidiophobia. children repeat it after me ophidiophobia it means fear of snakes dangerous dangerous means likely to cause harm make sentence using it fire is dangerous playing crackers is dangerous for us okay synonyms of dangerous threatening treacherous antonym of dangerous is antonym means opposite harmless and safe Next word is kinds. Kinds means types. Make sentence. There are so many kinds of mobile phones at my house. Synonyms of kinds: variety and sort. Antonym of kind is anti-type. Wiggle. Wiggle means to move with a twisting motion. You can see the picture of the wiggling snakes. Okay. Sentence using it. The kite still wiggled as it rose high up in the air. Synonym of wiggle is wobble, twist, and wave. Antonym of wiggle is calm, still, and relax. Now, student, let's read the explanation of the poem. As we have read the poem. I saw a snake and ran away. Who is I here? A little boy. A little boy saw a snake in his garden and ran away because he was afraid of snakes. Some of his, some snakes are dangerous. They say. Who is they? People. People said him that snakes are dangerous reptiles and they are poisonous. It may bite anyone who steps over it. But mother says that kind is good. The mother. Boy's mother explained him that all the snakes are not dangerous. Garden snakes, that kind is garden snakes, are harmless as they eat insects. Okay, 
garden snakes are harmless so you should not fear of them they just eat insects and they are useful so when he wiggles in the grounds i'll stand aside and watch him pass after hearing this garden snakes the boy was not afraid of snakes anymore so he said that he would not run away if he saw a snake and would it watch the snake pass instead and he said i'll tell myself there is no mistake there is no threat while passing the garden snake i'll just stand and will watch it is just a harmless garden snake so let's read the summary of the poem the poem garden snake is about overcoming fear of snakes ophidiophobia where in a little boy sees a snake in the garden and runs away as all the people have told him that snakes are dangerous reptiles the boy fears it for being bitten by its poisonous fangs fangs are cobra's long teeth okay the boy's mother consoles him and explains him that all these snakes are not poisonous they are so many kinds of snakes and they will never hurt people unless they are hurt the snakes in the garden are useful for us as they eat insects and rodents which harm our garden the boy understood the facts what his mother told uh, about the snakes the boy changes his attitude towards the snakes and now he knows that the garden snakes will not harm him so he will not run away if he sees the garden snakes now student let's know about the rhyming scheme of the poem <coughs> as rhyming scheme is a pattern of lines that rhyme with other lines in a poem or a stanza the rhyme scheme or a pattern can be identifying by giving and words that rhyme with each other the same letter this is we have already learned in our previous poems okay so read the last letter or last word of each line of the poem away and say they are same sound so write a a next pair good and food again they are same sound so write b b next third pair grass and pass same sound c c last line mistakes snakes they are also same sound so write d d the rhyming scheme of for the poem is a a b b c c d d as the same rhyming words are used in the two lines each next there are different phobia vocabulary given here A repeat after me acrophobia means fear of small insects agrizophobia fear of wild animals electrophobia fear of chickens musophobia fear of mice allurophobia fear of cats catsarida phobia fear of cockroaches arachnophobia fear of phobia ornithophobia fear of birds chirotho chirotophobia fear of bats myrmecophobia fear of ants so students increase your and reach your vocabulary by reading different phobias vocabulary i hope it's all understood and clear to you if you have any doubt you can make call and message to us thank you take care bye bye